Hey guys, it's President Evil for Zombie, and today I'm going to be uh, going over how to make a car in S Cars. So uh, first, you're going to need to set it up. You go into the console, and you type in. You're gonna want to bind it. So bind, and then in. I'll make the key in. Uh, the command is S Car underscore show editor. Um, and once you've typed that, you click in, and it'll bring this menu up. Uh, first, you're going to want to find a model for your car. I'm going to make like um, a coaster, a roller coaster car, I guess. So find the model, right click and click uh, copy to clipboard, and open up the menu again. And where it says model and misc, um, paste the model name with control V or right click and click paste, and then click enter. And now the coaster has popped up. Alright, so uh, first you can change the car mass and stuff. I think the default settings are pretty good. But um, first you're going to need to make wheels. And you can make your, you can choose your own wheel models. I'm just using the Chevy ones. So you click add wheel. And select the wheel down here. Uh, and you can use these sliders to adjust where the wheel is on the car. And... 5.3 that's good um and once you have all of the wheels i'll fast forward this so you don't have to wait well here we are again it's always such a pleasure remember when you tried to kill me twice Except I wasn't laughing Under the circumstances I've been shockingly nice You want your freedom to be paid. That's what I'm counting on I used to want you dead But now I only want you gone Alright, so once you have all the wheels on uh, You see Half of them are backwards, so I think that's wheels 1 and 4. Here, let me test. No, it's 1 and 3. So, um, let me put this back. Alright, so first select wheel 1 and click side, which will invert it. So that um, it will not be inside out. And then select wheel 3 and click side. And they'll be a little bit off the car now, so I guess you can uh, change it a little bit on the Y axis, the Y position. Um, Alright, so that's good. And now you're going to want to choose which, p uh, which wheels you want to give power to. Uh, I want it to be four-wheel drive, so I select torque um, on all the wheels that I want four wheel uh that i want uh power for and so now all the wheels are powered and now uh you want to select which wheels that you want to steer so that would be one and two which are these two wheels right here so select wheel one drag it to steer one and select uh wheel two and drag it to steer one and now we're going to go into seats uh for this tutorial i'm not going to put six seats here but just click add seat um, it's quite simple, just like the wheels. You just drag these little sliders. I'll put it right in the middle for this, so it looks cool. Alright, um, once you have your seat there, that's pretty much it for the seats. Um, I guess you can do front lights if you want. Uh, this isn't a dark map or anything. I'll just do one. You can do whatever you want. You can make some really cool stuff or not. Um, now I'll put a, here's rear light. You got your rear light. And now uh, exhaust positions. That's where like smoke is going to come out when the car drives or fire, I guess, when you're doing turbo. So you select, you click add exhaust, select it. Same thing. Move these on the X and Y axis. I'll put one like right here. Looks kind of cool, and it won't—you won't actually see the hover ball model. That's just a 
a reference for when you're editing this. And now I'm not really sure about the damage effect position. I think that has to do with like the hitboxes of the car. But um, I'm not really sure yet. Oh, maybe that's uh, where the fire is, like, coming from the windshield, or smoke. I guess we'll do that. Um, Alright, I guess it's it's little windshield. And um, now, go into Effect Adjustments, and here you select, yeah, the, this is the sound when it drives. Um, you have to experiment a lot. I think this would be more like a diesel. This looks like a little diesel car. Um, horn sound. That's uh, like a Half-Life 2 APC siren, I think. I'm not sure. I'm just going to select one. I'm not really sure. Uh, engine effect. Junky car. You know, let's do rally. Um, and now in vehicle performance, this is pretty much all the statistics of the cars, like power and speed, uh, steer force, yeah, that stuff. I like default settings for now, because I don't want to waste time for the tutorial. And now suspension and hydraulics. Suspension is like, um, the springiness, I guess, of the wheels, and more off-road cars will have more stiff suspensions. I guess. Actually, that's not necessarily true. Might be the opposite, actually. But, um, for now, I guess, make a little bit more. Uh, because you don't want it too soft. But then again, you don't want it too the other way. Alright, uh, now, hydraulics. That's like, um, you know, like, low riders, they have <laughs> hydraulics. Um, I don't really care about hydraulics, so you can do that however you want. And now you want to save the car. Let's call it um, Coaster. It's not really a truck. I don't care. Coaster car, I guess. Yeah, okay. Now I'll click Save File right here. And so now you can load it up whenever you want. I already made one for the tutorial. Um, and now to spawn it, you just click Spawn. And here is your coaster car so you click e to get into the car and you drive with w a s d and v is going to third person so yeah it's it's actually pretty fun what you can do with this little editor and so you see the little exhaust coming back in the back of it and um so yeah thanks for watching um i just realized what the hit box or I forgot the damage area was yes it actually is when you start shooting it or any damages to it uh, the smoke and black smoke and then fire will come out of that area and then the car explodes and then it applies like a black color to it so yes this mod is actually very fun and uh, there are countless number of vehicles that you can choose from and make and there's AI, so yes, uh, I'll definitely be making more S-Car videos, so uh, thanks for watching.